The Sea of Galilee is the largest freshwater lake in Israel and is the primary water source for the country. The Sea of Galilee is very important in the Bible, as it was where Jesus performed many of his miracles. The Sea of Galilee is a popular tourism site for Christians to visit. Visiting the site, you can walk the path Jesus did and even see a boat that was discovered in 1986. This boat dates back to Jesus' time. Now, how did the Sea of Galilee get its name? The name originates from Hebrew word kinor, which means in English harp or lyre, which resembles the shape of the lake. The lake is about 21 kilometers from the north to the south and about 43 kilometers deep. Galilee is a region in northern Israel. On the south lays the Jezreel Valley. To the north is the Lebanon Valley. To the east is the Sea of Galilee, the Jordan River, and the Golan Heights. To the west is the coastal mountain range. The Sea of Galilee is of great significance to Christians because Jesus performed many of his miracles on its shores, such as walking on water, calming the storm, and feeding 5,000 people. The Sea of Galilee is also called Lake Kinneret, and it is the lake that is believed to be named after that body of water. Kinneret is the Hebrew word for violin, and the lake is named Kinneret because the shape resembles a heart. Lake Gennesaret. This is the area where Jesus visited and performed healing acts. A town called Naphtali was later changed to Gennesaret and was called the Paradise of Galilee because of its fertility and beauty. Luke is also the only gospel that calls it a lake. Tiberias was an important city in 70 AD, being spared by the Romans. What miracles did Jesus perform in the Galilee region? Jesus changes water into wine. We read about a wedding that took place in Cana in Galilee. During the wedding, the wine was finished and Jesus' mother told him about it. He asked the servants to bring him jars filled with water. The water was turned into wine. What was said to be the best wine at the wedding? This is Jesus' first miracle. Jesus cures the nobleman's son. A royal officer in Galilee's son was sick. When he heard of Jesus in the Galilee, he asked him to cure his child. Jesus told him his son will live, and before he returned home, his servants came and told him his son has been healed. Jesus cast out an unclean spirit. When Jesus was teaching in a synagogue in Capernaum, a man possessed with an evil spirit cried out to Jesus. Jesus rebuked the evil spirit, which then left the man. The news spread through the region of Galilee about what Jesus had done. Jesus cured Simon's mother-in-law of fever. After leaving the synagogue, Jesus went to the house of Simon of Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was sick in bed with a fever. Jesus went to her and took her hand and felt the fever. The fever left her body. Is the Dead Sea and the Sea of Galilee the same? The Dead Sea and the Sea of Galilee are not the same thing. The Sea of Galilee lays in northern Israel, and it is filled by the Jordan River, which flows down to the Dead Sea. The distance between those two bodies of water is about 141 kilometers. The Dead Sea lays in the south of Israel and is much bigger than the Sea of Galilee. The Dead Sea is called the Dead because of its high salt concentration that makes it uninhabitable for any plants or animals. Because of its importance to Christians, the Sea of Galilee is a popular tourist destination. It will always be part of Christianity as where Jesus performed miracles and much of his ministry. It has a collection of churches that are built over sites where Jesus performed miracles worth visiting. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Galilee and learning more about the biblical importance of the Sea of Galilee. It has been a privilege to share with you the beauty, culture, and traditions of this land that holds such a special place in our hearts. And we are so excited for what is to come. For those who seek a deeper connection to the Holy Land, our Arts of Subscription boxes are the next best thing to actually traveling to Israel. It is the best way to bring the Holy Land to your doorstep. Each Arts of box is sent to you from a different region in Israel and is packed with up to eight stunning handcrafted gifts, local foods, spices, art, scripture, ceramic, and so much more. Each carefully chosen from the local artisans and charities of that specific region with the aim of bringing the Holy Land to life in the most meaningful and immersive way possible. We look forward to welcoming you back soon and providing you with the next adventure through the Holy Land and of course, Shalom from Israel.